What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here! Ah. And as you can see, we're back on some Black Ops 4 because I want to give you more some tips and tricks for unlocking all the camos for the assault rifle because a lot of people have problems with this. It's just because of the headshots. Sometimes it can take a really long time just to get the 100 headshots that you need just to unlock the camos. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way that to get these headshots that you need and it will be a lot quicker than you normally would think so. So today I'm going to go through all the assault rifles. I'm going to give you the proper rundown of the class setup that you probably will need for every single assault rifle. I'm going to show you the game mode. I'm going to be showing you the specialists that you should use. So let's hop right into it. So first of all, we're going to go through all the assault rifles and the class setup. So. First up, we got the ICR, a really, really good gun. As you can see, I've already maxed it out, uh, but it's still a fantastic gun. And if we go on it, you can see I've actually unlocked everything for the headshots right here. So I know what I'm doing. All the headshots right there. I've even locked some of the other camos. But th these camos right here, these challenges are, are pretty simple, pretty easy. So whatever. So the attachments that I used for this and I think are probably the best. So optic, red dot sight. Or a sight that you feel comfortable with. Uh, but I use red dot sight personally. I just think it's a lot better. Uh, you know where you, you, you're pointing at. So attachments. Now you need to be really accurate with assault rifles. Fair enough, they're pretty accurate as well. But sometimes the right of fire rate isn't as good. And sometimes the damage isn't quite good as well. So I always go for accuracy over the amount of bullets I can actually fire. So I put the double grip attachment. Yes, the double grip attachment right here. Reduces recoil when aiming down the sight. And the second one, minimized uh, recoil when aiming before firing. Reduces flinch when aiming down sight. So... If it just helps your accuracy more than anything and obviously you're going to want that quick draw attachment which means you're going to need a primary gunfire perk so quick draw that is what I used I didn't use any other attachments to get these headshots so I used the double grip attachment and then the quick draw because everything is just making you boost up to get better accuracy and that is what you want. If you look on the ICR and look how many green bars I've got on the ICR here, it's free off top. Now that's amazing, uh, amazing, oh wait there, let's click back on that one. It's actually, it's amazing accuracy. Now the rate of fire on the ICR has always been good, the range has always been pretty decent and the damage isn't too bad as well. So that is the ICR. So what perks and stuff are you going to run? Well, I personally run Engineer. Just because you can see where enemy uh, equipment is and if they have the specialist who can summon the dog in you can see where that is as well it's just so you don't get caught out and killed uh, i also run gung ho just so when you're sliding and jumping and stuff you can uh, keep firing weapons and use equipment as you're sprinting and stuff that's really nice to use now on the last perk i know most people would go dead silenced dead silenced yes it's a fantastic perk but I personally use Ghost just because of the amount of UAVs people can get is absolutely ridiculous. I think Ghost is the best option because it hides you from them from when you're moving, planting, diffusing or controlling score streaks. It just hides you from the UAVs which I think is really, really good because you will, you will not be running a launcher. You won't be running a rocket launcher so you can shoot down the uh, UAVs or anything like that. Uh, the equipment I'm using is this one, equipment and specialist recharge faster because of the specialist that we're going to try and get your hands on. Every time you load up in a lobby, you want to try and quickly get this specialist so you get the better advantages. So anyway, that is the ICR. Then moving on to the Rampage 17. Now I found this gun particularly difficult to get the headshots on just because of the attachments you can and can't get. But anyway, let's get in. So, red dot sight, obviously. Then, I did use the grip. It makes it a hell of a lot more stable, which is just really, really good. 
But other than that, there isn't much you really can use. You can use the long barrel if you really want to, get an extra bit of range on it, and then fast mags. That's all I used. Because the attachment on this, it doesn't have a quick draw attachment, which is kind of awful. And it doesn't have a secondary grip. Because as you can see here, the accuracy is absolutely awful. It's just below halfway, which is absolutely awful. But the damage is really good. And the fire rate isn't too bad. So I just found it this gun a bit more difficult than the other guns. Just because of the... It hasn't got a secondary grip attachment. And it hasn't got the quick draw attachment as well. But that is what... I used and I got headshots really, really easily with them. Same equipment, same perks, same everything. Move on to the next one. Now this is one of my favourite guns in the game at the moment, is the KN. And if we go on it, I can actually show you that I've already unlocked the gold camo for it, which is absolutely fantastic. That means I've done all the headshots. This was the first gun I managed to get all the headshots on. When I started knuckling down and doing all the headshots. So, obviously, red dot. Or, on this, you can use the ELO sight. If you think that's better for you. Uh, but, I use a red dot sight. <clears throat> now, this has got a lot of really good attachments. So, quick draw is a definite. Grip is also a definite. Now, you can either choose. It all depends on what you feel comfortable with. A stock, which will make it a bit more accurate win and you can move faster while you're aiming down the site or I particularly go for rapid fire just because if people are using them SMGs the guns are uh, faster rate of fire than you putting this rapid fire on the KN just kind of equals you out a bit but that I use rapid fire personally just to get these headshots uh, and everything else just remains the same. I won't be touching any of the perks or any of the gear or wild cards or anything like that there are the attachments. And look, now it's just glowing purple, which is just fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful gun. Right, moving on to the Vapar. And this is a gun I am currently working on. I haven't got all the headshots myself. I'm a, still like you guys. When I first got the game, I played it just to enjoy it. But then I started knuckling down and trying to get in these headshots. But the things I use at the particular moment in time is this. Uh, there isn't really a fat lot you could do. you got to want that. You're going to want long barrel, and I think that's it. Wait there. I'll show you the class. Where is the... This is the class I use. So I actually use uh, fast mags as well. But as you can see, I only use long barrel, uh, <coughs> rapid fire, and fast mags. Just because rapid fire, it's always nice to have a faster gun. really is. But unfortunately, there's no attachments that give you like really good accuracy, which I always look for in a, an assault rifle. Because uh, there's no grip and there's no quick draw. So this is another gun that you might have problems with. Uh, but this is... I think the two basic ones you need is long barrel and rapid fire. It just gives you a bit better advantage. And you can, if you use a long barrel, you can just get those headshots a bit further away. Just to make it a bit easier. You don't have to use extended mags. That's just what I use. And if you don't use extended mags, you could use it on a secondary weapon if you so wish. And I keep saying extending mags, even though it's fast mags, just so I can reload faster and get back into the fight. But anyway, move on to the last gun of the assault rifles. Now, this is the gun that just dominates everything in game. If you unlock this gun and unlock all the attachments, you know what I mean. The Maddox. This is just crazy. Now, I've only got a few headshots with this, as you can see. But I've managed to get 15, and I've only un unlocked it for about... 10 minutes or so just because it was on double XP and I was like yeah whatever let's give this a go but anyway stuff I use uh, like I said quick draw is always important you need to get that quick draw up now I haven't locked all the attachments uh, but the second quick draw will also be fantastic if you don't know what the second quick, grip to uh, quick draw grip uh, does it, it says basically on screen maximize aiming speed and uh, and increase your vision looking around and down sights. multi zoom, blah, 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 blah. It, it basically makes sure you you bring up your weapon as quick as you possibly can. So that means you're going to be drawing as quick as SMGs can with this gun, which is absolutely amazing. But apart from that, there isn't a lot of other attachments that I particularly use. Fast mags will always come in handy if you really want to. Uh... You've also we've got the stock you can go with, but but if you don't want to use the two quick draw attachments, 
always use one quick draw attachment and then go into your wild cards. Then you need to go and get your operator mod, which takes up two slots. So it takes up the wild card slot, then it takes up the operator mod. And the operator mod for this is Echo Fire. Now, I haven't unlocked it. Um, uh, firing blow black system shoots each bullet at a higher fire rate. So it basically just means you're increasing the fire rate of this gun, which... If you look, anyway, it's already got the highest fire rate out of all the assault rifles. All of them. It's got the highest fire rate. Now, the damage and the range isn't that good. But if you whack grips on this, boom. The accuracy is going to go up tenfold. And you're just going to be hitting headshots for days. This is the only one uh, that I would suggest that you change something on it. But double quick draw just gives you that. Then you can use the operator mod fantastic just a fantastic weapon to work with it really really is but anyway that's all the assault rivals and they're the classes that i use with all the setups and everything but what specialists are we going to be trying to get that is a big big thing so the specialists that i like to use just to try and get all these headshots is recon just because he has the sensor dart and the pulse vision so you know where your enemies are going to be. So you can automatically pre-aim and maybe pre-fire before those enemies come round the corner and try and kill you. You can line up your headshots really, really easy. Now this is a specialist that you'll want to try and get off the bat. As soon as you load into a game and you want to pick your specialist, this is a specialist you want to try and pick for. And luckily, it basically near enough on the bottom row of the specialist there's one just there's one specialist just below him but it's pretty easy to get <clears throat> and this is a specialist that i work with just because the game mode that i also work on is hardcore domination that means it takes less bullets to kill someone you don't get any hood so that means no mini map no uh, bullet count no specialists charge thing you get, you get no hood whatsoever it's just you and the game but it also means it only takes two well one to two bullets depending on what weapon used to kill someone so that means if you get a headshot straight away that dude is dead no matter what but it also means that you die rather quickly as well now, if you're doing this method, you can guarantee your KD is probably going to go down dramatically if you're trying to do this. Just headshots in general really, really takes a lot of time and a lot of precision. So your KD is going to go down because you're probably not going to get as many kills as you usually would. But this is why you're on hardcore. Trying to do this on core, where you constantly got to aim at the head and just fire half a magazine in someone's head, someone's head just to make them die, is just stupid. So going on hardcore mode... And just do some. Now, I like objective hardcore modes because you know where players basically are going to go to is towards the objectives. So that means you can plan your route accordingly, try to corner people, pin people, flank people, and so on. So you can get these headshots. Now, you don't have to use domination, you can use any really of the hardcore game modes I'll... that you want. Uh, search and destroy, not the best because you only get so many rounds. And you don't get no respawns, which is kind of unfortunate. That's why I use Domination. And as you can see, by my weapons that I have already done, I have already done the ICR. I've already done the Rampage. Right there. I uh, right there, swap my gun. I've already done the KN. So that's three out of the five guns already. And I'm actually pretty close with a Vapar uh, at the moment. As you can see, I've only got the two last ones to go. And I'll get them pretty easily. So that is the best way. The best class setups. The specialist to use. The best game mode to use. To get these easy headshots. So you can unlock your gold camo. Then moving on to your diamond camo. Then moving on to the dark matter camo. Which is just a absolutely fantastic now this is only been for assault rifles only if you wish to see like the clash setups and everything i'd use for smgs 
and the tactical rifles and the sniper rifles and the shotguns and the pistols and stuff you'll have to let me know drop a comment down below that you say you'd love to see them kind of videos just so you know what attachments to use what class setup what perks and so on and so forth to use just to get these headshots out the way because they can be so so annoying but anyway Moors. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope this helps you out in game and I hope you get all the camos that you want to get. But anyway, Moors, I'll hopefully see you in the next video.